We're back. Well, I am, at least. Hi, everybody. Guess who's back? Oswald, you're not focusing. There you go. We are back, Oswald and I. We've been away for about how long? Two years. Me, him, he's over there somewhere. There he is. You notice there's only two now. This guy, this guy, that's it. We don't need to go there. The two of us. We can make it if we try. So, believe it or not, he's grown up over the past two years. Hates cats, hates cats, hates birds, hates hoovers. He doesn't like hoovers as well. I'm not allowed to watch David Attenborough. He's my hero, seriously. And I can't because this guy. Being rude. That's better. Will not let me watch David Attenborough. Any time there's any form of animal on TV, he just barks his head off. So, I'm going to get straight back into one lesson. The last lesson I left you with two years ago was to stop biting humans. Oh, it's called bite inhibition or something like that. Inhibition? I think it's had a stroke. Yeah, bite, bite inhibition. So that's where we left off. Now, I would like to go over barking. I honestly thought pugs didn't bark. What I was doing, first of all, was uh, this. So, when I was all barks, I've been doing this. Hear him? Very grumpy man. He's not barking, he's just groaning, but this is what I do. Stop. Good stop. Good stop. And that's it. So that was phase one. So when I kept doing that, he did stop, literally straight away, because he associated the word good stop to stop. Did you believe? Yeah? There you go. So, so, oh, oh, okay, okay. Now it's found the truth. You clever boy, I love that. Am I even mad? I'm not even angry. Good man. You can have another one for that. That was cool. Did you see that? Okay, well, I'm going to get mad if you keep jumping on the table. So, that's what I did. What I did was say, if he was barking, I'd say stop. Good stop. And I realised he just kept barking and I kept saying good stop and he just barked literally five minutes later. It, nothing was really sinking in. So then I said stop. Good stop. And then I made him sit um, and then pour and go through the long way. Seriously, this took a week to, to practice and train him. And obviously you know for a while he knows where I hide the treats because he just jumped on the goddamn table. Didn't you? Hi. Beast. He just jumped on the table. You didn't look at me like that. You did. I saw you do it. You did. There's only th there's only three left. I had six. Well, you can say sorry as much as you want, but gets away with everything. Everything. Oh, hang on, mate. It's gonna back. Instead of that, I've just been saying jail, and then he stops, because when I say jail, I pick him up and I put it into his little jail. Check it out. So might as well don't tell them off for barking, which is obviously not what I was doing. Just put them somewhere. So what I do is, if he's barking, he might bark now, you know. That, oh. Oh, opportunity. Jail. Look at him running off. Jail. He knows what we're doing. So, now what we do, we say jail, or whatever room you want to put him in. So we say jail, and we put him in jail, like this. There we go. There we go. Look at that face. Kills me every single time. Oh, I can't look at me in this little pug face. Just have that annoying barking dog. I don't want to be that guy, okay? I've got a nice respectful pug over here, okay? Haven't I, mate? I just looked at him. It's a fatal mistake. Oh, 
not gonna let them out now. Okay, good boy. So, but we just leave him there, not for too long. Just leave him alone. I'll leave him in there, then I'll leave him alone. You can do the same with your pug or your dog as well. And that's it, really. I'll, I'll probably stay around about a minute, maybe five minutes tops, but that's a little bit harsh, really, because they, by that time, they've kind of forgotten why they've been put in there for. Um, what else, Beast? To be honest, that's working. That's, that's working really well. Don't say stop barking, stop barking, because when I give them a treat, um, they associate himself, he associates himself barking to getting a treat, which is what, what, not what we want to do. New addition to the house, chalkboard, very, very crucial. Business ideas and things like that. So that's what I do, and that's working. Try it out and let me know how it goes, okay? And that's what I'm doing with my little pug. Um, also, if you've got a pug um, as well, is he or she molting a lot? Because this dude is molting like an absolute yak. Seriously, a big white yak, a white wolf. Well, actually, do you know, when it was cold, he didn't really molt, and when it was hot, he, he molts. Temperature, I'm just gonna use my brain. I really start researching things, don't I? I'm just doing this off the wing, I'm just doing this off the cuff. I've had an epic two years with this little guy. Been a bit of a little issue in, within the family. That's been resolved. It's just me and Oswald. Wasn't my fault. For once, it's just me and him, and I'm here now just to show you guys. I'm not show you guys, just give you kind of advice, you know? Um, what I do that has worked and what I do that hasn't worked. For example, to shut him up from barking, give him the treat, give him the food, uh, that didn't work, for me anyway. And so now what I'm doing is, instead of him, when he barks, I just pick him up, just say jail, and put him in his little jail. Which sounds really horrible, doesn't it? I, I don't know, it's just, but it's working though, and it's not harmful. Um, but when, obviously you get him out of there, just, or when you get your dog out of there, don't hold on to a grudge, you know? Just just give him a stroke and give, give him a kiss and a cuddle and stuff, blah, 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 blah. Sweet, so that's what we're doing. But anyway, yeah, the whole point of this vlog is to say, hey, we're back at last and how to stop barking. I'm still gonna keep on going, so if he is barking, doesn't work, that's fine. But what I have been doing is, well, when I do this, say the word jail, if he does bark, I say jail, and he just stops. So guys, yeah, cool. Oh. That almost looked weird. Yeah, he's making that look weird. Dude, you okay? You all right? You, what's wrong? We're just gonna see if these guys like the video or not. Cameras there. He just said, um, if there's any more tips that you can give me, or you want to, um, if you think this is the right information, then wicked. If not, if you can offer more advice to me, that'd be that'd be really cool. I'm gonna say goodbye. Just, just there still. Yeah, he said goodbye. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Cool. Okay, guys. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like. If you really enjoyed it, you can subscribe and I'm gonna get as many videos out as possible about what me and Oswald do, or Oswald and I do together. Just to live in nice harmony. <laughs> Which is what we will do. I mean, I know you saw earlier that he was just jumping around and jumps on the table. I mean, obviously if he was a bigger dog, you would not really wanna allow that. I know it sounds a little bit a scapegoaty that because it's a smaller dog, he can get away with a little bit more stuff, but it's all down to you, the owner, and what you want from your dog, I think. I mean, I was speaking to a lady on a dog walk and she was very strict saying, you must never teach your dog poor because that teaches begging and they should never beg. I'm like, well, I don't really give a I don't care, as long as the dog's happy, as long as, as long as I'm happy and Oswald is happy, then it doesn't matter, really. You know, he's not hurt, gonna hurt himself or others, then I'm fine with that, that's cool. What do you guys think? I mean, I'd love to hear your feedback. So, yeah. Anyway guys, this is a uh, peace out from me and Oswald. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.